Okay, I still can't believe it. It's been over a year and a half, and I just never thought I'd see this thing again. I really never thought I'd I would see this again. I mean, it was lost in the ocean. How is this even possible? Before I open this, I gotta tell you the backstory though. Okay, you ready? So to really understand this, we gotta go back in time. Are you ready? Okay, so for my son's 11th birthday, he and I both got Apple Watches. So it's summer, June, 2022, and I get an awesome chance to go diving in the Caribbean from a friend, and this amazing place, the British Virgin Islands, one of the most beautiful whole places in the whole world. Okay, so I'm scuba diving twice a day for a week. And I'm using my Apple Watch to track my dives and my fitness to depths well over 100 feet. People kept asking me, hey, is that watch going to be okay? And I said, yeah, yeah, it's rated over 50 meters, which is 164 feet. And I'm not planning to go that deep. Anyway, that's kind of intense, all right? So it's the end of the week. It's the last day of diving well over 100 feet, wearing the watch every day, no problems. And on the last day, we're headed to the baths, this beautiful place in an island called Virgin Gorda. So I'm jumping off these massive rock boulders into the tropical, clear, warm water. A friend of mine's recording me jumping off. See, right there, right there. I'm wearing it right there. I'm wearing it and poof, it's gone. Slides off my wrist and into the water. I didn't even realize it at the time. I was so distracted by the beauty of the place. So we leave the beach, head back to the boat, and then I realize I have lost my watch. It's gone. Apple Watch in the ocean. But then I remember there's this app called Find My, and I report it lost. There's this image of where it is. It's in the water on the beach. It shows exactly where the watch is lost in the water. And I figured, well, that's gone, right? Okay, so I fantasize about one day someone finding it. And what would happen to it in the ocean that whole time, right? Fast forward to December 2023, I get a voicemail from a local on the island. Hello, it is Jonathan. Are you still looking for your iPhone watch? Give me a message. Okay, thanks. I'm shocked, I'm amazed. Not only is the watch found at the same beach, but after charging it, he charged it. The lost message pops up with my phone number, he calls it, sends me a photo of it. It's freaking miracle. I swear to God, look at this photo, honestly. So we're back to the mailbox. I'm about to open the package. It has traveled from the Caribbean over 3,600 miles to Little Fountain, California, outside Santa Cruz, just miles from Apple headquarters in Cupertino. Well, this watch was invented and designed right here. Are you ready? Let's open the package. Oh my God, it looks perfect. It looks absolutely perfect. This watch was lost in the ocean for a year and a half in the sea. Look at the glass, look at the back. It looks absolutely perfect. I am shocked. I don't think he cleaned it. It's a tiny bit scratched, but I had some scratches on it before. Let's see if I hold the button. I'm gonna charge it. You ready to charge it? Get my charging cable and let's see what happens. <gasps> and the Apple logo is coming on. Look at this. The Apple logo is coming on the watch. This is so exciting. It's charging. Look guys, it's charging. This watch has been in the ocean for a year and a half and it's charging perfectly. Look at the screen. It looks perfect. I think it's gonna need a little charge. It's been dead for a long time. It's, it's, it's kind of amazing, right? So big thank you to Jonathan the Caribbean for finding it, contacting me, shipping it back to me, being a good person and a big, good human, and for Apple for making a really awesome, badass, tough watch. Amazing technology that works. Thank you, Apple. Everything you saw was shot on iPhone. Take care. Ready, three, two.